the gooey duck, an obscenely shaped giant clam. The first time I showed a picture of a gooey duck to my mother-in-law, she actually blushed. While the Pacific Northwest shellfish is not consumed widely in the United States, they are considered a culinary delicacy in China. We sell about 20 to 30, maybe 30 to 15 a day. When business is really good, around 100 a day. Last year, the U.S. exported 11 million pounds of wild and farm gooey duck to China and Hong Kong, double from 2008. The average clam fetching up to $100 a pound overseas. The demand is pushing farmers into more Washington state waters. If we're going to produce more gooey duck in the state, farming is the way to go. I didn't know that they were farmed so there were so many around here. The state is now preparing for the first time to lease about 15 acres of public tidelands for farming. But the expanding industry is drying ire. Right now, the Chinese market is unlimited. They could use every beach they could get their hands on in Washington if we allowed it. Laura Hendricks is leading a citizens group that has repeatedly sued to stop the expansion. They say farms displace animals, produce debris, and degrade beaches. University of Washington scientists say farming is a more sustainable source of gooey duck than wild harvest, and the footprint on beaches is temporary. Still, they acknowledge. We don't really know at this point what the impact would be of expanding the industry much beyond its current capacity. Bill Dewey says his company is adjusting its practices to respond to complaints. You know, where you've got a working waterfront out in front of a residential area, uh, you know, and trying to find that balance so that we're not disrupting people's quality of life along the shoreline. For now, the gooey duck industry is trying to keep pace with Chinese demand as the unsightly clam opens up more business opportunities. Emily Roseman, The Associated Press.